So it 9/11's coming up. It was it's been 20 years, which is crazy to think about. You know, I was I was in high school when it happened. Uh, I remember seeing it on the TVs. We had TVs in hallways, and I was walking through the hallways, and the news was on, and I saw. Um, it was in between when the first plane hit and when the second plane hit, and I ran back to my classroom. I was like, turn the TV on, turn the news on. We just got attacked, and we turned it on, and we were watching it live as the second plane hit. It was, I mean, and it's crazy. Um, and shout out to Jon Stewart. I know it's random, but Jon Stewart fought so hard to get the first responders um, what they were due for helping and gaining, getting cancer and, and all the aftermath that they went through because they went in and saved lives and uh, risked it all to to be there so those guys are absolute heroes they should be always remembered um so it was awesome that john stewart did that but joe biden said that he wasn't going to release the the papers on 9 11. i mean it's been 20 years okay when are we going to see like the actual documentation all right i don't know how many people have have seen zeitgeist where, you know, the whole, like, is it a conspiracy? Was it really an attack? Was it actually, you know, the CIA or the FBI or wh whoever, whatever three-letter agency that, like, manipulated it? Like, how did Building 7 go down? Why were all the explosives heard? Like, there's all sorts of different discrepancies that, you know, believe whatever you want to believe. The public deserves to know what happened, all right? And... Uh, I don't think Biden's going to ever let it come to light. I don't think the Democrats uh, want it to come to light. 9-11 families to President Biden. Don't come to our memorial events. Nearly 1,800 victims, relatives, first responders, and survivors are calling on Biden to refrain from attending any memorials over his refusal to release September 11th documents. Yep. The victims, family members, first responders, survivors will release a statement uh, Friday calling on Biden to skip the 20th anniversary events in New York and Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and at the Pentagon unless he releases the documents, which they believe implicate Saudi officials in supporting the acts of terrorism. The group says that as a candidate, Biden pledged to be more transparent and release as much information as possible, but that his administration has since then ignored their letters and requests. You think Biden cares about any of you? Now, obviously, I'm talking to the first responders, the survivors, the family members. Newsflash, he doesn't. He does not care. Or his handlers don't care. One of the two. Because who really knows, right? I mean, that guy, he came off the helicopter today and was walking down this path. And the Secret Service were like, Go this way, sir. And he was like, oh, that way, huh? Okay. And then just kept walking back into the grass and then went around a bush and was like, oh, I came around the bush. Dude is not there. Quote, we cannot in good faith and with veneration to those lost, sick and injured, welcome the president to our hallowed grounds until he fulfills his commitment. End quote. They wrote in a statement obtained by NBC News. Quote, since the con uh, conclusion of the 1911 commission in 2004, much investigation, inves investigative evidence has been uncovered implicating Saudi government officials in supporting the attacks. End quote. The statement says, though multiple administrations, the uh, Department of Justice and FBI have actively sought to keep this information secret and prevent the American people from learning the full truth about the 9-11 attacks. Why? You really got to just ask yourself why the American citizens deserve to know. All right. We deserve to know what happened ever since 2013, when the Smith month act was snuck into the NDAA, the national defense authorization act media can then lie to the citizens. All right. They don't really care about us knowing the truth anymore. They will just lie to us to their heart's desire. And it just feels like they feel we can't handle the truth. Who are they to decide what we can handle or not? I think it's insulting. Man, among the documents the group seeks are supporting evidence found during a widespread FBI investigation into the attacks that examined alleged Saudi links and was completed in 2016. 
Brett Eagleson, whose father Bruce died at the World Trade Center, said he and his co-signers collectively are at our wits end with our own government. We are frustrated, tired, saddened with the fact that the U.S. government for 20 years has chosen to keep information about the death of our loved ones behind lock and key, said Eagleson, who is among a group of victims' rel uh, relatives who filed a federal lawsuit accusing Saudi Arabia of being complicit in the attacks. While the 9-11 Commission report found that Saudi Arabia had been a problematic ally, particularly when it came to sharing intelligence, the investigation found no evidence implicating Saudi leaders in the attack. The commission staff found no evidence that the Saudi government is as an institution or as an individual senior officials knowingly supported or support Al-Qaeda. However, a lack of awareness of the problem and a failure to conduct oversight over institutions created an environment in which such activity has flourished, the report said. It did, however, identify Saudi nationals as a major source of funding for Al-Qaeda. The Saudi government has denied any connection for the attacks. Eagleson said he is convinced the leader, uh, senior leaders in the Saudi government knew about the planned attack and did nothing to stop it. Among the evidence he cites is the 2017 sworn testimony of former FBI agent Stephen Moore, who was in charge of the Los Angeles task force team penned bomb. Uh, the FBI's investigation of the 9-11 attacks. Based on the evidence we gathered during the course of our investigation, I concluded that diplomatic intelligence personnel of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia knowingly provided material support to the two 9-11 hijackers and facilitated the 9-11 plot. My colleagues in our investigation shared that conclusion, Moore said in his affidavit. And this is Brett Ingleson there. Uh, an administration, the administration of George W. Bush, Barack Obama, and Donald Trump also declined to declassify, declassify supporting documents citing national security concerns. The Trump administration invoked the state's secrets privilege in 2019 to justify documents, keeping the documents classified. 20 years later, there is simply no reason, unmerited claims of national security or otherwise, to keep this information secret, the group wrote. But if the President Biden reneges on his commitment and sides with the Saudi government, we would be compelled to publicly stand in objection to any participation by his administration in any memorial ceremony of 9-11. I gotta just say, even if they say don't come, you know he's gonna do something. I don't think he's gonna, he's gonna care about these people's wishes for him not to go. He's gonna go, he's gonna do something, right? Of course he is. Eagleson said in an interview, the buck stops at the president. I don't know about this president. At this, as After this story was published, a Biden administration source familiar with the matter, I hate that line, said the Justice Department is expected to begin a review of the documents to determine whether any can be released. The review will in include documents in which state secrets or law enforcement privilege had been cited as grounds for keeping the information classified. While the goal is a quick review, it is not likely to com be completed before the 20th anniversary of the attacks this year, the source said. Eagleson said, said the previous administrations had also promised reviews only to use them as delayed tactics to protect the Saudi government and keep the American people in the dark. I I mean, do you, have, do you think that Biden's going to release any of this information? I, I don't think so at all. I think it's... Uh, I think it's all ridiculous, and this this came out yesterday. U.S. reviews 9-11 documents for possible release after families tell Biden to skip memorial events. It's just fluff. It's like Obama saying, "I'm gonna scale back my party. Don't worry, uh, you know, just friends and you know, family and close friends. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be you know scaled down." I mean, dude, you had 500 people to still go. Nothing changed. You had a massive party. Biden's going to be like, look, I, families, we're going to review the documents. He's going to go to the, I'm telling you, he's going to go do this. And if he doesn't, it's a shocker to me, but okay. But he's going to go and then he's going to go, hey, look, after the review, the Department of Justice has come to the conclusion that we can't release any of this information for national security. Sorry. Sorry, families. 20 years later, you still don't know the truth about what happened. It's a shame.